Namaste, everyone. This is Jenny G. Thanks for tuning into my channel. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button down there in the corner to get notifications, notifications on new videos as I am doing now. Okay, so I am going to talk about this mind-blowing, powerful new super moon. January 21st in Aquarius, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's going to be huge. And I just can't believe exactly what I'm doing on that day. Like I didn't put two and two together until this morning. And I'm like, oh my gosh, huge things are going to happen that day. Like mind blowing, huge things. There could be a lot of different um, processes going on within yourself of, you know what? I've had enough of this so-called 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 leadership there are no leaders you're gonna see that you are going to see exactly what they're going to be up to around this super new moon there's going to be chaos you're going to be like are you kidding me we've had enough we've had enough of your bullshit to be very blunt the only way I can be with this it's bullshit so it's really important like you're going to hear it regardless of what okay so it's really important to try to stay away from a lot of dramatic events a lot of um, energy that are negative and that because it could really really suck you in so just be very very careful like you're going to find that humanity is going to be really stepping it up it's the power of the people this year You'll have to watch my other video of 2023 predictions of what I have said and what my insights have been. Okay, so that's why you got to subscribe to Jenny, right? So anyways, there's going to be a lot of strong energy that day. It's extreme. Expect the unexpected. This new super moon is also called the new snow moon as well. Like January here anyways in Canada, it's like, really 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 cold and this super new moon takes us into february with the aquarius energy so it's the aquarius new moon which is going to bring in a lot of emotions however this new moon is going to be bringing in exciting new opportunities for you so really pay attention to that day what you're working on what is going on during this time for you and you might all of a sudden get really, really, really creative and such. Just pay attention. Pay attention to what you're experiencing. And because of the super new moon, it's really close to Earth. And that's going to cause like earthquakes. It could like look at Hawaii with the with the volcano situation. You're going to see a lot of um, Earth situations. I'm just going to say Earth situations. A lot of destruction with certain things are going to happen. Um, because of the so-called leadership as well but it's also because we have the solar flares combined with this super new moon the it's, it's closer to the earth which can cause issues so do your best to try to stay grounded and in alignment that day as best as you can your sleep is going to be off and even like this energy this month you're going to have your days when you're like geez all i'm going to be doing is sleeping all i'm going to be doing is is drinking a lot more water I'll pay attention to your body and really pay attention um, to your health as well during this time um, there's a lot is going to come through just be careful that you're not getting sucked into the lot of the negative events and the drama you know the media doesn't post a lot of um, truth anyways with certain situations if you're on twitter Watch Elon, Elon, Elon Musk, Woo, one of my heroes, I can tell you that. One of my heroes, he's bringing a lot of things to light. Thank you. I'm so truly grateful for him to what he is sharing. So a lot of the old order with how things have been going, as I mentioned, that people have had enough. People want the new. They don't want to listen to the old order. That's collapsing. Like if I had a card here, I would have the tarot card um, of tower. The tower only goes on for so long. So be really, really careful where your mindset is that day because the manifestation is huge. Be careful what you're wishing for. 
you know, there's people that are like, you know what, I've had enough. I'm done here on planet earth. Be really careful because your words right now, your thoughts are very, very powerful and that can happen. So this is why it's really important to stay more in aligned within your soul, staying aligned with your higher consciousness, balance yourself, keep yourself grounded as best as you can, especially that day. Like you're going to feel it. Like you're going to feel it. You can feel a little bit. Wow. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm like, what's going on? Right. Like I'm feeling like really dizzy. I'm feeling very nauseous. It's okay. You're not going crazy. And some of you might even want to launch upon like a new career, a new study. I'm hearing a lot of messages coming through from spirit saying a lot more people, of course, obviously are awakening, but they're going to want to be taking more classes. You could take a class online. You might read some books that you're like, you know, I'm actually really drawn into this subject spiritually, a lot more spiritual. This is a very spiritual year. You're going to want more peace. You're going to want to stay away from the darkness and, and the fear and and the, the power, the so-called power that's going on. You're going to be like, you know, and it's all about taking one step at a time, one step at a time. You might be like, you know, I, I want to take that class or, you know, there's this workshop going on or, you know, I just saw the seminar being advertised sign up you might even see a date or something all of a sudden pop it's like spirit i'm open to new opportunities i want to learn more about spirituality or whatever it is you're drawn into and the minute you start saying that you're going to start to see that happening all different ways signs come in at every every second do you ever notice that whenever you're like you know i just I'd like to do this, or I'd like to move there, or I'd like to take that class or change my job, maybe going to that career or whatever. Then all of a sudden, somewhere on social media, especially social media, you're going to see an ad starting a new class. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be teaching that. Oh, I'm going to be doing a talk on that. Or all of a sudden, you'll see study books. Pay attention because your soul wants you to be in the light the light of your soul it wants you to raise to the higher vibration and that's why some people can be feeling a little off at times because if you're at like more of a lower vibration you're gonna your soul wants you to get higher move into the higher consciousness the higher vibrations so you could feel a little off a little dizzy it's perfectly normal pay attention and listen to your body always drink a lot more water it, it's solar flares. It's off the charts right now, off the charts with so many different symptoms. Like I didn't sleep last night. Like I literally had maybe two hours sleep, if that, like, you know, and I woke and I'm, and I kind of woke up like, and I'm like two hours sleep. And I'm like, Oh, where's the coffee? I need my coffee. Good God. So I'm kind of half asleep. And then as my day goes on, I'm like, bing it's like i had a hundred million cups of caffeine or something right and and my day has just been so truly amazing and i'm so grateful so truly grateful for a lot of opportunities that are coming to me i'm gonna get teary-eyed and i'm not gonna talk about it you'll hear about it you will hear about it um but um by by the 21st um you're gonna know exactly what i'm doing on the 21st that's all I'm going to say. So stargazers, stargazers, new moons. Um, I do photography. I love it. I haven't had a lot of time to do it, but really, really pay attention to the stars and, and um, what you're seeing up there in the sky on the 21st. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, right? So photographers, new moon, the stars. I love the stars. I just love the stars. I really connect with it. Love it, love it, love it. So really um, pay attention to what you're seeing. You might find that you're going to be breaking some karmic relationships, even more karmic habits, um, what you were working on as well from December 28th, 29th, you might already see now during the super moon how things have really happened, how things have really come into play. You might start to see results or what you were thinking of doing, like a class, let's say, just for an example, um, you might be like, yeah, I just signed up for that class. Yay, right? Make yourself happy. Whatever, whatever fills your soul with happiness and joy, do it. 
do it because that's what your soul wants you to do. You're also going to find that you're only going to be more connected and wanting to be more connected with those people who you resonate with, your soul tribe, your soul vibe. I'm so truly grateful for all of my beautiful soul connections. So truly grateful. So truly grateful. Really take a look at who is in your life. Really take a look at what you have learned from them. We all are teachers. We all teach each other when you're open, when you're listening to your soul, when you're listening to your heart, you're going to be really connected to certain individuals and like, yeah, I'm really liking this person. I'm really connecting with this person. I'm, I'm just loving the whole entire vibes and what they're saying. I'm connecting. I'm connecting. I'm connecting. Something on December 23rd, by the way, I just heard <laughs> Um, and I'm going to say it again. Um, I'm starting to get more messages in these videos from spirit. There's something for somebody December 23rd. If you look back to December 23rd, and if you can remember something that was going on that day for you. It's almost like something family connected that could have happened. I know that was Christmas, of course, right? And more holiday times. But really pay attention to what was happening to you on that day. Um, very well, something could have happened within the family. Maybe some secrets that have came out. Or some somebody very well could have said, you know what, I'm not well. Or just something happened. I'm just going to turn on my little fan here. It's just very, very warm in here. So you might also too, by the way, um, you know, be hearing more about that situation. You might be seeing more results with somebody. Maybe somebody promised you, okay, we're going to do this. I'm going to help you with that. Um, or this is one of the day I go into the hospital or whatever. Really pay attention to that time too. And just always never take anybody for granted at all. Never do that. Like I worked in a hospice on and off for many, many, many years until um, this year or last year, just towards the end of the year more, because um, I'm not vaxxed, of course. And I'm, I'm, I saw a lot of people pass on daily, you know, and it's always very difficult, more so for the families and the friends. Um, you know, whenever you see that person, the patient who is not well, your heart goes out and your compassion goes out to the more, but you know that they're leaving their sick body and they're immensing into the new. And you might all of a sudden hear a lot more deaths on, to, on the 21st as well during this Aquarian new moon. Um, animals too, new moon is a really, really big time for animals to pass as well. I'm going to take a little water. I was always hoping that my dad was going to pass away on the new moon because it's such a beautiful time for somebody to pass. And he did. And I was so happy. I was so grateful that of all days uh, he passed on the new moon because you can, you can pass more with ease when somebody's passing, I can feel their body leave their soul, leave their body. And as we go through the different dimensions and we're greeted with our animals and our family and our friends and our guides, depends on that person some of us have to go to a healing room some of us it's a big process so as somebody's passing on i can scan and zoom into their energy and read where they're at and read what's going on that's the psychic medium part right but anyways i'm not going to talk about that much but just really pay attention and please be grateful towards humanity we're all experiencing and going through um you know the difficult times with whatever it is there's people that don't talk about it um i don't talk a lot about my stuff i observe a lot more and um work within do the soul work within and meditate keep yourself grounded as well so this new moon be really careful what you say there's, it's going to be a very, it's going to be a day of a lot of different opinions. Just try to respect, um, you know, you don't have to get involved, like I'm saying, but um, especially if it's something very negative and, and fearful and powerful type thing, just really pay attention to what you want to say that day. Um, you know, be more mindful, be more in awareness. You might be seeing or hearing something that somebody is saying or doing and you might be like oh my god and you might just like lash out at them or whatever just try to be more and mindful be try to be more and mindful be more compassion towards that person we're all experiencing a lot of different things so this new moon in aquarius by the way it, it, it's really 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 going to be off the charts um very 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 important so take some small steps 
with this, the, the Aquarius energy will bring out your creative energy. It'll cr bring out more creative ideas. You know, some of you might be like, you know, I want to go and book a vacation to the water, to the water. And as you can see how explosive the world of events are getting, worldwide events are getting, it's going to increase this year even more so. Okay, so whatever you're working on, just one step at a time. It's that old slow and steady wins the race. It's so true. Like I'm starting something new for my, actually a few things, but I'm starting something new and I'm like, spirit, give me the strength and the courage to, to work through that with ease, with ease. I need to make these changes with this, 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 and that. So when you ask spirit, please give me the strength and the courage to, to walk through this, to, to walk along this journey and this path, whatever it is. They listen to you. Your guides are there. Your angels are there. And especially during this new moon, you're going to be more intuitive. You're going to hear those messages coming through. As even as we get closer to that, you're going to hear those messages coming through. Even now on, on the full moon, the wolf moon, you know, it, it loss of sleep, your vivid dreams. And we're going to have more vivid, lucid dreams. Like I had a dream, just to give you an example, a couple of nights ago of this place I was going to move to. And I'm like, oh, that looks okay. Yeah, that looks about right. And then yesterday, I'm just, you know, like on social media, I'm like, oh my gosh, let me check this out. And I'm like, oh, that's the place. Exactly what I was showing. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, that's it, right? So I made an inquiry, surrendered it, surrendered it. Um, and, and that all could change because as of today, um, so truly grateful for my producer. Thank you. So truly grateful. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm going to pull a couple of cards here um, collectively to see what spirit and the universe has to say, what messages for the super new moon in Aquarius. And I'm going to use the deck here, gateway of light activation, because it's all about the light. It's all about the light within. Shine your light. Shine your light. Enhance who you are. Bring it through. Bring it through. We're all unique. We all have gifts. So make sure that you knock your cards three times, by the way, on wood, because it clears your energy and whoever else to use the energy. It's going to clear that off. OK, so I've cleared my cards. And when I do a reading on someone, I do not use cards because I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium, past life Akashic records, relationship coach, animal communicator. So I don't use cards. But because we're doing a collective here and I say we all the time because it's me and spirit, me, whenever I'm getting messages through, I just say we unless I'm hearing something specific. Right. So, and this is a, a seven universal year, by the way, to spiritual walking in your true power, walking in your soul's path and destiny, staying true to you. It's like a spiritual year, Buddhist chanting. I'm hearing Buddhist chanting. I chant every day myself, but I'm hearing Buddhist chanting coming through for some reason. So if somebody is a Buddhist or I don't see that, but if somebody wants to chant and very connected with with that energy, go for it. I'm hearing that loudly, very loudly, very loudly, big Buddha statue. So if somebody is sitting back chanting to a big Buddha statue, wanting to get a Buddha statue, or perhaps going, you know, over to India or Nepal or, or Tibet or somewhere all around there, that's for you. Beautiful, perfect timing, perfect timing. Your soul wants you to go. So what's the universal message? from spirit for january 21st 2023 i didn't like that card by the way i wasn't feeling it um what's the universal message from spirit for january 21st oh beautiful i tell you it's spirit that takes these cards down so temple of truth now I love that throat chakra, authenticity and self-expression. It's so important that you're being authentic. If you try to be somebody who you are not, it's not going to work out for you because you're not in alignment with that vibrational frequency. It's not going to work. This is why you have to be you. We all have talents. We all have abilities. And look at this beautiful. I actually, before I was going to do this video, I was going to wear my hematite or, uh, amethyst um cluster necklace it's a huge amethyst like this and a necklace but i just decided at the last minute i wasn't going to 
So if you look at the gateway there, at the beautiful crystals there, isn't that beautiful? And how the water is flowing, water is flowing down, that's healing water right between that. And when you're walking in your truth and speaking your truth, that's the throat chakra. And actually, I think I'm, yes. So here's an aqua or a crystal. Aqua or, uh, this was gifted to me from my television show I had. Um, thank you, Yvonne, by the way, if you're watching. And I, it's one of my favorite crystals. And, and this aqua aura is of communication, communication. So some of you might, um, especially if you're doing a really important talk or, or a meeting or, or an interview or like for a job or something, um, whatever it is, wear the color blue as well, because blue is the throat chakra. It wants you to speak your truth. And that's where you guys are headed to. That's why you're going to be more drawn into really paying attention to um, who your soul tribe is, who, who you no longer want to connect with. Um, you're not feeling with it. Your soul contract with them is up. You're going to find that you're tired of a lot of the fakeness and energy and all of that as well. So walk your truth always. So, um, and because this energy too, by the way, it's connected um, our animals on the new moon. And this is a huge new super moon, like the expect the unexpected. It's going to be like a huge, powerful, extreme day. So, which can, which affects your animals. So you might find that your animals too, by the way, are going to be acting weird. They might be really, really clingy to you. They might not be eating. They might be more tired and you're going to be like, oh no, what's going on with my animal? You know, should I take my animal to the vet? If you're really concerned, absolutely, please do that. But this energy really affects animals even more than us because our animals are so much more sensitive than we are. So make sure you show your, your dog or your cat or your horse or whatever animal you have a little extra attention, a little extra compassion that day as well. Very, very important. Don't dismiss them aside. And pay attention to the signs with them, especially leading towards the new moon if they're not acting right if you're like concerned about them please take them to the vat as well because like i'm saying our animals do leave on the new moon i mean they can leave at any time like us of course but it's a really big day so expect the unexpected um and as i'm seeing that talking about animals um i'm an animal communicator too i'm seeing a border collie looking type dog i'm seeing a border collie dog running around in the fields and they have a message for you i've seen the grass and grassy fields so they're very much with you so for somebody who is watching as a border collie that has passed or a white dog with black spots that's for you so anyways i can ramble on right so that's what I'm saying. When spirit talks to Jenny, Jenny's got to pass on that message, right? So let's ask the animal kingdom, archangel animal kingdom. What is the message for the super new moon in Aquarius on January 21st, 2023? <laughs> Lama, set clear boundaries and enforce them. Archangel Shamul, so important. So important. Setting boundaries is crucial, crucial. You might have people asking you to do things for them. You might have people like, what do you, like, I get like so many messages per day. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see, Jenny? And it's like, for God's sakes, I have, I have a group on Facebook where I offer free psychic clairvoyant readings. Um, I'll put the description box below. I have a column and I'm on a few different shows. You can get free readings that way, but please stop sending me questions and questions and questions. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? I don't answer my phone anymore unless somebody wants to book a reading. So my priorities are my clients. I'm just saying, I don't want to be rude, but I've had enough. I have to set strong boundaries. Some days I get slammed so many and I'm like, this is insane. I'm going to change my number. So it's important to set boundaries with family with friends business if your boss is constantly calling you into work or your boss wants you to do all these extra things don't take people for granted because you know what we've had enough like i'm saying this year you're going to be like i've had enough and especially the day of the super new moon you might quit your job 
you might end your relationship. You might be like, that's it. I've, I've, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I've had enough. I'm, I'm expect the unexpected seriously, but just really listen to your intuition. And before you make any rash decisions, right. We can all get upset, right? Please take that time to align yourself and stay centered. You can always book a reading with me. I can give you a lot more clarity and insights anyways of what's going on. So, um, um, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, right. You don't have to, but you can. So let's talk about some ancestral messages here. Ancestor spirit Oracle cards. I'm going to use here because you're going to get a lot more messages. A lot more is going to happen that day. You're going to be like, Oh my God, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Like if you have those, um, in a certain area and you're getting those pre signs of there could be like an earthquake. There could be like a Dusami. There could be like whatever it is, please pay attention to that news cast report like don't live in fear but please pay attention to that you might all of a sudden hear you know we're expecting that there could be an earthquake that there could be this there could be that please pay attention even more so towards this new moon and on the new moon please pay attention don't dismiss that don't dismiss that it's gonna be a lot of work shakeups a world shakeups career shakeups relationship shakeups big transformation as well it really depends on where you're at so let's ask spirit universe what's the message for the super new moon in aquarius january 21st what's the message from spirit no i didn't feel that i'm very sensitive i didn't feel that what's the message nature spirits elves and fairies and rock formations isn't that interesting how I was just talking about world events like to like uh, earthquakes and stuff. Look at that. Get in touch with nature and really pay attention to um, if you're hearing any newscast about uh, weather, the weather, really pay attention. Don't ignore it. If you're like planning on going for a hike that weekend, let's say, and there's a news report that there could be like, a lot of rain coming down or you know the roads could be really bad because of the weather um or you know like i'm saying really please pay attention to that um you know because you have your uh, elves and fairies and rock formations with you the water represents your emotions okay so whenever you're looking at water really see where your energy is if you're feeling really scattered if you're feeling really nervous if you're feeling very calm when you're looking at water if you're feeling very calm you're right in alignment within your soul by the way because your emotions are emotions are calm if you look at water and you're like oh my god that's so scary look at those waves or look how rough that that water is or i don't know shows you where your emotions are and if you pay attention to this is green this card is green which represents your heart chakra green is also for your healing that day as well with your emotions being water how beautiful and your spirit guides will be with you really pay attention to the messages because your your ancestors your spirit guides family ascended masters are really really close to you right now there's so much changes going on in this world as we all have seen and witnessed and it's going to really continue this year to get really really crazy really really rocky but i really don't talk about um the negative events like people saying you know like i want to hear about the negative events and i'm like no i don't want to talk about the negative events we've all we all see it we we all see it we we know who the ugliness is and where the ugliness is um, our so-called leaders have tried to divide us for quite some time now we've had enough but anyways so one last card before we sign off right is from the crystals i love my crystals daily crystal inspiration of course so what's the message here What is the message here? Citrine. Somebody needs citrine. Actually, here I have one of my crystals. Beautiful. One of my favorite pieces. I have two of these. It's very heavy, by the way. It's very heavy. Somebody needs citrine. So if you're thinking of getting the citrine crystal or drawn to a citrine crystal, that one's for you. That one is for you. So 
what is the message from the crystals for the super new moon? What is the message from the crystals from the super new moon? What is the messages for from the crystals from the super new moon? Super new moon, January 21st, 2023. What is the best crystal? Oh, <laughs> love it. Um, Shungite. Now I do have some of this, but it's packed. Um, I have a lot of my stuff packed right now. I'm eventually moving. Um, and that's just opened new doors this morning as well. Thank you to my producer. I'm so grateful. But anyways, um, it's, it's all about detox your life, detox your life. So you know how, especially during this new moon, that you're going to be letting go you're going to be like your eating could be off your addictions you're going to be showing more like whatever um addictions you have addictions can come in so many different modalities and ways and whenever we get addicted to certain things it's because we're not happy it could very well because of trauma betrayal addictions actually stem back to whenever you were a child and there's been a lot of healing going on with that inner child right through November. It's been going on for a little while, but especially through November, some of you have been doing a lot of healing with karmic ties, with your family, with your friends, with your life and all different um, people. And also too, even last week, it was very strong releasing. You could very well have had some dreams about family who betrayed you and such like that. That's why you have to watch my weekly collective videos, because I talk about the energy every day, what you could be feeling and sensing and feeling with and explain to you why. So you got to subscribe to Jenny. Like, what's up with you guys? Lots is happening. Lots is happening. I'm just saying. So. So anyways, on that note, you guys, um, I wish you a happy um, super new moon. And um, please subscribe to my channel and you can book a reading i'll put all that information below um in the description box and and join my facebook group i do free psychic clairvoyant readings all right happy happy super new moon namaste